All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of Game of Thrones. This week we got to see Game of Thrones season four, episode six, The Laws of Gods. And man, oh, this one was a good one. So in terms of what are like the best episodes of Game of Thrones we've had so far, I think tonight's episode is really one of them. It's got to be, it, well, I guess it kind of depends how much you like Tyrion or not. But if you're a fan of Tyrion, and I am, I think Tyrion's awesome, this was one of the best episodes we've ever had of Game of Thrones. And I can honestly say that I think this season is the best season of Game of Thrones so far. Uh, at least in my opinion. I could throw that out there and say with confidence, yeah, Blackwater was awesome. Yeah, season one with Ned Baylor had some pretty shocking, amazing episodes. Um, but this season right here all around has just been somewhere in the stratosphere in terms of awesome. This is just, this episode was just outstanding. Um, now about halfway through the episode, I was thinking to myself, ah, it's an okay episode, not bad. You know, the stuff with Stannis was a little slow with Bravos, but it's leading somewhere. We kind of need to see it. I thought the intro was cool that they added in the Bravos as a location. You've got that giant statue thing that they sailed under, which was cool. Uh, we see the Iron Bank and what it, you know, what it actually is and how different things are in uh, Bravos which was pretty cool. Um, finally, we got to see the finishing off of the uh, Ramsey, Theon, Yara thing. Um, not, not conclusively forever, but we got to see the whole part with Yara, how she's coming to try and save Theon, and he has no idea who she is at this point. Ramsey has flayed him so bad, he's gotten into his head so bad, that through conditioning and through pain, he has no idea who she is. He won't. He refuses to go with her out of complete conditioned fear that if he does anything against Ramsay at this point, uh, in the end, he's going to end up paying for it. And uh, he's been programmed. He's been programmed pretty hard. And that was some tragic stuff to see, especially when they were in the bath afterwards. And he's uh, he's asking him if he loves him. Just all oh, so dark and just so such a weird, uncomfortable feeling watching that. Um, and also, this was one uh, case of vengeance, because you know how one of the big themes of Game of Thrones, if there is a theme, is vengeance and who's going to get it, who's not going to get it. If something happens, the character's killed, then uh, uh, you know people that care about them want vengeance, and do they win, do they lose? You know, It's kind of a, a guessing game for people as they're going through it the first time, if they're either reading the books the first time or they're uh, watching the show the first time, You know, who's going to win, who's going to lose in terms of uh, this over uh, overarching theme, I would say, of vengeance in the show. So the stuff with Yara, which is it's been kind of delayed for a while, we finally saw the end of that and how that went down and she escapes um, but without Theon and basically concludes that Theon is dead. Uh, <laughs> Reek is the only thing left. So uh, very dark but yet realistic at the same time as well. Uh, through pain, they've done studies on this too if you guys want to do research on this. Um, through intense pain, intense uh, torture, uh, people's brains are very susceptible to any kind of programming, any kind of um, sort of conditioning, um, you know, just like an animal, you know, conditioning a dog, like for example, Pavlov's dogs, that kind of stuff. Um, human beings are susceptible to that too, especially under pain. When pain is included with that, it's, uh, it's very successful in terms of being able to program somebody. I'll just, I'll leave it there. If you guys want to do more research on that, feel free to do that of your own accord. Um, but what you'll find is, yeah, that, that's pretty realistic and definitely that type of thing can happen. Uh, the battle was awesome. You know, I thought it was really cool when Ramsey kind of came in and he gets the smile on his face. He's all lit up and he's got, you know, the, the scratches and everything. And he, he's ready to go with, a, what was it, a dagger and a sword he had. Um, so I, I like that scene. That, that was a great one. Uh, a lot of uh, really intense, really get you going. Uh, cool stuff after the scene with Bravos, which was, was just kind of dialogue, kind of more relaxed, but leading into something with Stannis. So that was fine. After that, we get to see, of course, the dragons eating, which was really cool, or one dragon eating. Uh, and then the guy asking uh, Daenerys um, for some kind of, for I don't know, for something, I guess, because uh, all of his, uh, his goats, was it, were killed. And she uh, replies with paying him back three, threefold. So that was cool. Uh, and also about the, the guy who visits her about the, uh, the ma slave master that was uh, a noble, was a good man, and was uh, uh, crucified. So, so that was cool too. And um, then we hear the small council. 
and they're talking about what to do with her. Um, they're starting to learn that she's amassing a lot of power, 8,000 Unsullied. She's got the dragons. She's got uh, Barristan, uh, Sir Barristan. She's got uh, Jorah. So she's really powerful this time, and she's only going to grow. So we'll see what they want to do with that. Um, however, at the moment, and we see it begin, the trial of Tyrion, they have more pressing matters. Um, did he, did he not kill the king? What happened there in that situation? So this for me is we'll put this episode somewhere just like beyond cool the, this ending finally getting to see the trial finally getting to see all of these events um that of course if you've read the books you know about but finally getting to see them play out with uh, dinklage's acting tywin in there um you know the just the, the crowd around uh oberon and cersei and and big time spoilers Shay, um, wow, uh, very, very um, shocking, I guess, for people that don't know what's going to happen. An interesting way that they did it and, um, you know, her testifying against uh, uh, Tyrion, basically everybody testifying against him, nobody for, everybody against. He's basically been set up and he knows it and he knows he essentially has, he has no chance. He's going to be found guilty and that's it, no matter what he says. Um and no matter what he says, no matter what he does, he knows that he's got no chance here. He's done. Pycelle, everybody else, they've uh, they've pinned him for it. They've screwed him and uh, the witnesses and everything, especially Shay at the end. So so that was really touching. I also like the scene with Jamie as he's talking to Tywin about uh, trying to make a deal for um, for Tyrion's life and, um, and that Tywin obliges. But that is if Tyrion was to, you know, uh, stay straight with the whole thing, he'd be able to live his days out on the um, on the wall. So, of course, <laughs> by the end, Tyrion knows that the whole trial's bullshit, and he doesn't trust his father enough to um, to allow this 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 farce of a trial of justice to continue. He's so infuriated, he's so enraged that they've even been able to get Shay to testify against him and everything they've done to him, how bad they've screwed him, Varys, his friend, all these people turning code against him quickly and pinning him for it. He's just so enraged, he can't hold it inside, and he just lets loose the speech at the end, which I it was just it was breathtaking and it was just like Wow, just incredible acting. A lot of the lines were kind of uh, maybe I would say like over the top. This kind of you know when you have things like that, you got to be careful for the actors not to you know make it feel cheesy or anything like that. But of course, Dinklage is such an amazing actor. Uh, the facial expressions, everything, the anger, and uh, I thought he just did an absolutely incredible job. As always, I mean he always does. You know we know that it's like yeah he's he's got it locked down. Um, I'm guilty of being a dwarf. You know just. Oh, the delivery was so great, and uh, especially at the end, I demand a trial by combat. Cue music, and the music plays. Wow, that was beautiful. The way they handled it, um, the you know the visuals, the scenery, everything about it, I thought was just. It was, man, it was done so well. You couldn't ask for it to be done any better based on the source material. Uh, just absolutely incredible, uh, touching, you know. Um, really, if you like Tyrion, and I do, he's my favorite character in the series, you really got to feel for him in this one. It's it just, it's like, you know, seeing Shay walk out there, the music and everything just rips your heart out as, uh, you know, a fan of him. Especially the things she says, you know, because it's sort of like she's lying, but she's also mixed in, truths with the lies so as to basically kind of say f you Tyrion, this type of thing so um wow uh what else can i say about this episode just an incredible ending i've been waiting for it for a while i couldn't wait to see the trial go down and um with the trial by combat of course coming up i won't get into any future spoilers for who it's going to be you guys can look into that if you really want to know and you and you don't know yet but um I, I'm looking forward to it, and I think with uh, we've kind of seen a little bit of it in the trailer for the season, and uh, without revealing anything, um, I'm just really excited to see the battle play out. I'm really excited to see it play out. I'm really excited to to see how all of this goes down. And I gotta say, this episode is is one of the greats. It's one of the best episodes of Game of Thrones ever. And uh, if you like Tyrion, I don't know how you couldn't just love to see this episode with such concentration on him specifically um, being pinned for this thing that he clearly did not do, this uh, this heinous crime that he clearly did not uh, commit. Uh, even him talking about Blackwater and his accomplishments there, saving everybody, um, you know, out of frustration, out of anger, just 
Incredible, incredible, incredible acting, incredible everything. This episode was somewhere, it was just, it, it was insanely good. Just insanely good. How can I give it anything but a 10 out of 10? Even if some of the parts at the beginning were a little slow with Bravos and that, but it was cool to see the scenery too. And, uh, you know, we're getting a direction for, for Stannis, so that's good. Uh, I, I like to see the Yara stuff. Um, finally, you know, getting to see what happened with that because it's been a while since that was started. And, um, of course, you can't go wrong with the uh, Tyrion stuff. And Daenerys, is, Daenerys sort of seeing all those different people as well, too, was cool, too. So amazing episode. I'm going to give it a perfect 10 out of 10. Really, it, it was just, so, the ending was so good. <sighs> Man, this one was where it's at, where it's at. So let me know what you guys think about uh, this episode. This Episodes like this are the ones that make Game of Thrones really special, I want to say, compared to a lot of other TV shows. Because sometimes Game of Thrones has some has some good episodes, like good to great episodes, but then every once in a while you got this like episodes like this that are just incredible, like better than almost any other TV series out there. You know, like almost any, almost no other TV series can compete, I think, in terms of, uh, you know, how great some of these episodes are. So let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, blown away. Absolutely blown away and loved it. I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. If you're if you're new to the channel, uh, if, if you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe, feel free. If you like the review, please like it below. If you want to help support the channel, favorite it and uh, share it on your Facebook. If you have a Facebook, if you want to, if you want to help support me. And uh, yeah, I'll say peace for now. Peace, guys.